Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Sports. My name is Rev Trev. So glad that you're here. Today we're going to be diving into that really difficult fantasy football strategy about quarter uh, running backs behind rushing quarterbacks. What do you do with them? And uh, they're not all created equal. Not every situation's really good or really b bad. It all depends on what's going on. So let's dive into that now. If you want to compete and contend and win a championship, I would encourage you to listen to this fantasy advice. Okay, now everyone at this stage of the season, the first week or, or right before the season starts, everyone's good, everyone's in a great situation, everyone's gonna be great. No, they're not. They're not all created equal. They're all, all situations are not good for each one. So we're gonna be diving into uh, four rushing uh, quarterbacks today. So we're gonna be doing Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, and Lamar Jackson, and Josh Allen. Surprisingly, Josh Allen's one of the top rushing quarterbacks from last season. So let's dive in to Jalen Hurts, who had an amazing year. Listen, 15 games, 165 rushing attempts, 760 rushing yards, 13 touchdowns, people. And if my math is correct on that for each quarterback, I believe he had 153 fantasy points uh, by uh, just rushing the ball. Like, this is this is insane, right? So there should be no value to a running back behind him. Well, Miles Sanders last year was awesome there. 16 games, uh, 259 uh, rushing yards, 1,200, almost 1,200, uh, close to 1,300 rushing yards, 11 touchdowns. So, like, I, and then here's the Gainwell uh, stats as well. He kind of had... It's a little bit of a mess there, but can we just say something? Isn't DeAndre Swift healthy, much more talented running back than Miles Sanders? I mean, that's kind of where I'm leaning. So I actually think Dion, uh, DJ uh, Swift has really great value as long as he stays healthy and as long as they continue to give him more reps. I mean, I know Penny can complicate things, but... There's a lot of people thinking that Penny's not going to get a lot of work here. So uh, it's a little bit complicated there, but I think Swift has some incredible value. And you got him late enough to know, like, there was no, I mean, there was no risk, right? And and at the end of the day, it all comes down to who do you trust? Who do you trust with your fantasy team? And that is the huge piece here. And I think you can trust, yeah, uh, I think you can trust Swift. Uh, especially from these numbers last year. Now let's talk about Justin Fields, right? 16 games, 160 attempts. He almost had 1,200 yards. He had eight touchdowns, 162 fantasy points. That is insane. But Montgomery played 15 games, only had 800 rushing yards, six touchdowns. So now you see where Herbert was landing. He only played 10 games at 700 and. 31 rushing yards. So I actually think Herbert could be a good play. Many of you drafted Herbert super late. Um, I don't know if you're going to trust him enough to start him over a bell cow running back right now, but it, he could be your third guy or your fourth guy. And it, de depending on injury, you could put in Herbert there and I believe that he'll have value. Now you want your number two running backs to be getting around 200 fantasy points for you to be able to compete and contend and win a championship. So Herbert is one of those guys that you could do that with. I would just watch and see first. Now let's go to Lamar Jackson. Like this guy is is Michael Vick 2.0, right? Un unbelievable. He only played 12 games. He had 112 rushing yards, 764 rushing, uh, rush, sorry, rush, 112 rushing attempts, 164 rushing yards. And then he had only had three rushing touchdowns before he got injured, only 94 points. But if you look at 2020 Lamar Jackson, and I think this is important because if you think about J.K. Dobbins last year, he didn't play very much either. He only played eight games, only had 520 rushing yards. But you got to look at the 2020 comparisons, and that's why I have it right here for you, is that when Lamar Jackson in 2020 played eight or 15 games and Dobbins also played 15 games, their numbers were massive. Lamar Jackson had 1,000 rushing yards, 7 touchdowns, and Dobbins had 805 rushing yards and 9 touchdowns, plus the receiving, of course, you have to add into that fantasy number, right? But he's got significant value. Now, the problem with Dobbins, and we all know this, is that 
He's coming off these massive injuries, and is he going to be the same guy that he was touted for? And I think this is where I get nervous with J.K. Dobbins, even though he's had the talent and it's possible. I just think a lot of those guys, it, well, it took him two years to get here. I, I think he has a, a potential to do this, but I'm still buyer beware. Like, I'm not starting J.K. Dobbins in any league. In fact, I actually voided him in all drafts. So even if I had him on the, I would not be starting him, not even in my flex, until I see what I what he looks like during the season. And you might you might miss a couple points there, but there's some other guys that you're gonna have on your roster that I think is gonna be smarter. Now, some of you drafted Dobbins as your number two RB. Yeesh, good luck. I hope it works out for you, right? So that's if you look at it, he has potential. I just think he's lost a step because of the injury. Now let's go to Josh Allen. Josh Allen. He's so interesting. He is just an absolute fantasy monster. And and there's that awkward moment with the Bengals and with Hamlin and all that happened. And they missed that game and didn't play the full game. And so, so Josh plays all 17 games, okay? He's got 126 rushing attempts, 776 rushing yards, seven touchdowns. And Singletary last year, and I know that he's no longer there, had played 16 games, 106... 78 uh, rushing attempts, 822 rushing yards, six touchdowns. And so you see his numbers there, but James Cook is the guy there. Now look at James's numbers. 17 games, never miss a game. 91 rushing attempts, 525 yards. So this rushing attack is actually quite amazing uh, in a lot of ways. I mean, it's not as good as the Bears, okay? But three touchdowns. And so he's the guy now. Now, I think, and, and a lot of people are high on James Cook. I, I think James Cook is is ready for a bust-out season. He's not coming off an injury like J.K. Dobbins. He's coming in as a healthy running back. He's He's been progressing, growing. I, I think I would be more comfortable with James Cook as your RB2 or your flex spot than J.K. Dobbins. So these are some of the things you got to look at. I hope that the stats helped you see what they look like and and where they can go. But listen, I know that we're treading on difficult water here. It's just so complicated with these running backs who rush and who are absolutely effective rushing the ball. Um, I don't think Jalen Hurts is going to get 13 touchdowns again as a rushing quarterback, but you never know. I mean, that's part of his game. So if he does, then you're going to have similar numbers potentially. And it depends if there's time sharing with Swift and Penny and Gainwell and all that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously, they're going to probably time manage that a little bit, but that's my thoughts. Hope you have a great day. Hope that you win your fantasy weeks, and uh, I hope that not only are you competing and you contending, but you actually go and win a championship. Listen, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe.